ladies and gentlemen there are changes coming to kvk and perhaps even the new updated graphics to rise of kingdom so today we're going to go over some of the proposed changes in just a second and then later in the video we're going to go over the updates to my own kvk because as you guys know i've been playing in the new season of conquest heroic anthem remaster with the new graphics so i'm going to tell you guys sort of my experience so far because we did just close out the first zone fighting of kvk so i've had about eight hours of straight fighting experience and so i'll let you guys know how the game actually ran and performed for me but first what's going on guys cheers okay the first thing that i'm gonna go over here is the feedback needed for the lost kingdom domain adjustments this came out at 5 30 this morning i woke up and saw this and i'm just gonna share with you guys what we see here on the discord and there will be a survey link in the official rise of kingdoms discord if you want to provide your thoughts on this change but they said that since launching the lost lost kingdom domain feature we've had quite a few governors comment that the current requirement for a kingdom to be split into domains over 899 governors with the city hall level 25 is too high for most kingdoms and I have heard this from other players as such we're considering adjusting the requirements for enabling the domain system but we'd like to first get our governor's opinions on the matter our preliminary plan is as follows the requirement for a kingdom to be split into domains will be reduced to 500 active governors with city hall level 25. the max number of slots for individual domains will, will be reduced from 800 to 450. in addition the max number of extra automatically assigned slots will be reduced from 99 to 50. now here's the thing with changes like this for me and this also kind of bleeds into the discussion of imperium kingdoms and possible changes to imperium kingdoms and things along those lines a lot of times i don't talk about those things because i am kind of in my own little like insulated bubble in my current kingdom in 1568 i migrated here literally years ago i think in like i mean i was here and then i left and then i came back but that, like i came back to this kingdom like probably like three years like it's been a long time since i migrated last and this kingdom i don't think I mean we may have like briefly touched Imperium at points here and there but really leadership keeps the power of the kingdom like in check like crazy and so a lot of times systems like this and the Imperium system and stuff like that like I don't really experience that at for me right like so if you wonder like oh why is Omni Arc not talking about it? it's like I I can't really say and so from my perspective like again I can't really give too much on this but i will point out that i have heard people say that the 899 is too high of a number and so to dramatically lower it to 500 i think that's probably a good starting point the strategy that they should probably use would be to lower it slowly over time and just kind of find that sweet spot as opposed to like dropping it dramatically and then having to bump it back up a ton and then dropping it back down somewhere in the middle and then going back and forth like that i guess they could do that but it would just get a little bit confusing i think they should probably like slowly lower it down so that's the strategy that I would at least recommend but I'm sure that they are looking at all the data and looking at the kingdoms that would benefit from this feature that aren't able to do it because of this requirement and they've probably come to the conclusion that 500 is a good number but like it's nice to know that they're actually reaching out to the community with this discord post and like actually asking for feedback and I feel like they've been doing that a lot lately I don't know if it's just because I've been paying more attention possibly but I mean I think the developers have been looking for community feedback a little bit more in the past, I would say six months or nine, 12 months than they have before. Uh, maybe that's just my subjective like notice. I don't know, but that's, that's a good thing, of course. And of course, again, this link will be in the official discord. So join there if you have uh, suggestions for them about this. But the other thing that I want to talk about is obviously the remaster post that they put here. This was released on July 3rd, which I can't believe I'm recording this. It's already July 12th which is actually insane but I missed this I guess uh and I wanted to talk about it here they say our first test of the rise of kingdoms remaster has just ended and we'd like to extend a sincere thank you to the governors who took part whether positive or negative the feedback you provided will be invaluable to us the remaster plan for ROK is a long-term comprehensive upgrade plan focusing on three aspects and this is really important I've actually mentioned this in videos before and the reason that I'm discussing it now even though this was released like over a week ago is because I think a lot of people miss this because I, I've gotten plenty of comments from people about this like asking these questions so I think people miss this but basically the remaster of ROK is coming in three aspects okay 
the first one is upgrading graphics and we've already seen them rolling that out already the second is optimizing performance and we've seen them already attempting to do that with frame rate and the final one is updating gameplay which i don't think we've seen any change in gameplay i mean they've you know added the strategic view and kind of optimized what we see in dot mode and things like that which i will talk about that later in this video because that relates to my current kvk but i don't think we've really seen any changes or any dramatic changes in the gameplay i mean i know the new shifting i think it's called shifting sands the new kvk that they just revealed does have a heavy emphasis on ranged combat so i guess in that regard that is a kind of an update to gameplay like shifting more towards ranged and being able to use ranged without setting up an arrow tower and having the more concentrated but powerful ranged uh you know the shifters could be a nice change in gameplay for people who like that so okay i guess maybe we have seen all three of these a little bit but mainly they've been focusing on the first two it seems like in terms of effort and resources invested it's our most ambitious development plan since the launch of the game and that is not hard to imagine right like they're kind of rebuilding the map entirely which is crazy and i don't think i've ever seen this done from a city builder mobile game before and so that's why i'm so i've been so hyped about the remastered graphics because like this feels like it breathes fresh air into the game at least for me as such the experiences and opinions of our governors will be vital important going forward be of vital importance sorry i can't read in our first test of the world map graphics update we received over 3,000 replies from testers we read and analyzed every one of them the most frequent negative responses we received were that the map was too green or cartoony that resource points were hard to recognize and that model proportions were off We'll be looking into these issues in depth and we can't wait to show you a smoother deeper and more engaging battlefield so this is not surprising to me if you look at the comment section of my videos that i made about the remastered graphics probably the number one criticism of the remastered graphics was that it was too cartoony which that's something that i brushed off because i just don't get, like i don't get it i don't like it's not i mean it, the game's always been cartoony to me all i see is just a better looking game that's just i mean that's honestly how i feel but a lot of people feel that way and like so there must be i mean clearly if thousands of people feel that way then you know some percentage of the player base does feel that way and so it's nice that they actually saw that noticed it and look they got 3,000 replies I'm sure many of them were negative because if you guys don't know a lot of times like especially with reviews and things like that like on Amazon or like on Google for restaurants and stuff mo most of the time when people leave a review it's easier to get a negative review than a positive review I'm sure if you've worked in like customer service or marketing or anything like that you already know this you're familiar with this but people like negative experiences really stick out in your head right and so I wouldn't be surprised if a majority of these replies were negative right I I think I filled out the reply survey and I was overall positive I don't think I really had anything negative to say about it honestly but again I will talk about my actual experience with the remaster graphics later in the video so stay tuned for that but keeping in mind that like even if all 3,000 people said the game was too cartoony that's pretty much an insignificant proportion of the player base if I'm like being honest right not that you know not that you should ignore the feedback they should they should take this into consideration but it is good to know that they see this they hear you they'll probably adjust the colors and possibly some of the visuals and resource points I think resource points were the ones were the was the thing that I was most like critical of I guess because like they do kind of look a little bit goofy and especially like the logging camps like don't look great uh or I mean at least they're just boring really that's all they're, I mean they're fine they're just a little bit boring that's all but anyway it looks like they will be looking into these issues and they want to make a smoother deeper and ba engaging battlefield so for those of you that were critical of some of the design choices here this could be good news for you because they might actually be making a little bit of change to what we already see in the game and that is interesting to note finally they say the remastered version of the season of conquest heroic anthem story is already available and we'll have a lot more governors taking part this time we look forward to hearing even more of your thoughts going forward we'll update you more on developments or changes and that's i mean they're talking about me i mean i mean not me specifically but like i'm in that heroic anthem so let's use that as a segue to jump on over to my experiences in the remastered heroic anthem so as you guys can see we pushed into the first zone we had a little bit of fighting i would say maybe like six hours of fighting on the first day and then maybe like uh 
four hours of them kind of like just doing a little bit of a holdout on the second day because that was that we had uh, enemy elimination that day and uh yeah so I mean it wasn't really a question of who was going to take the zone everyone knew it even they knew that we would it's like no no contest basically but because of that I fought for about four hours on the first day and I would say like three and a half four hours on the second day and through all of the fighting that I have and I did record it although I'm probably going to be too lazy to put it in this video if I'm being completely honest with you guys because this video I'm recording last minute and I will be away for the weekend so I apologize in advance uh really it was just me sitting there like this you know and you can like I'm kind of zoning out for four hours so pretty much uh <laughs> there's your there's your example but my honest review of the experience was that the first probably two or three hours I played in strategic mode eventually I switched back to dot mode and I found that dot mode was still a little bit better for me I liked the fact that strategic mode or strategic view if you guys don't know there is a new uh basically a custom thing here that you can change for strategic view I don't know where it is you can scroll down and find it but strategic view will basically show you oh it's right here it will basically show you uh the troop type when you're zoomed out into dot mode basically so you'll be able to see if you're hitting a cavalry unit or an archer unit or things like that and I like that because then I can focus on the archers right or the cavalry which is typically what I would recommend doing hitting the infantry it's nice to kill the Liu Che, but like they're going to be a little bit more tanky and annoying so usually I go for the calves and archers they're a little bit more squishy and I liked that uh but I did find that the actual uh, like the actual logos or the the dots I should say felt a little bit bigger than actual dot mode so for example if I come over to my city and I pull some troops out onto the field you can actually see the uh the troop type and what I noticed is that these sort of like square shapes feel uh bigger than the dots that you would normally have in dot mode so I hope you guys understand what I'm saying but like those dots feel smaller and I'm almost positive that they are smaller and if not then maybe it's just a like a hitbox issue right when clicking around but I found that in dot mode it was easier to actually just click on a target right so if I'm targeting an enemy it seemed like putting it in dot mode was still a better option for me to be more precise with clicking the targets and I think that there's an easy solution to this I think the solution is just shrink the click box of the uh of the strategic view right like i prefer strategic view because it gives me more information and information is important for war but not when it comes at the expense of like not being able to click an enemy right that's really frustrating and honestly i wouldn't say it's like night and day i think like dot mode was maybe like 10 or 15 percent better in terms of like clicking accuracy and again I have no way of measuring this other than just my subjective experience which is why I'm talking about it now but I figured it would be at least useful in pointing out to you guys if maybe you haven't played in in that strategic view yet and you can let me know in the comment section below if you have experienced this is that uh something you've experienced in with ex with strategic mode for you as well I'd be curious to know maybe I'm just losing my mind but if the devs do end up uh, shrinking that little icon that would be great and I know that I'm a little bit late to the party here because strategic view is a little bit older than like this new kvk style but this is the first kvk that i'm experiencing it in for myself so i wanted to comment on that here the other thing that i want to talk about well actually let's talk about performance first because i think a lot of people are curious about that did i have any increased lag no did i have any frame rate issues no does that mean that this is an open and shut case no and the reason for that is because this is an expensive high-end gaming computer and I just didn't expect to have that happen and also I played in dot mode because like that is the best strategic strategy uh strategic strategy that's the best strategy for you in war right and so when you're in dot mode like you've already kind of removed like 30 percent of the artwork right or more because every node is gone right so like you're not going to see and especially like all the animations and troops and all that stuff it's all gone right and so from a performance perspective I had identical performance in this kvk as i have in every other kvk there was literally no change the only change is that the overworld is more beautiful to look at which to me is just all positive that's all upside there's no i had no server issues i had no frame rate issues i had no performance issues i even have my computer set or my settings set to custom like 
highest possible settings that I can have like all unit models like every everything that I can have combat density is very high like I put this as high as I can I guess the best I could do would be full screen but either way like it says that this is high it's not this is I don't I mean this is probably accurate for mobile devices but this is not accurate for my computer I don't think my computer had even a tiny bit of trouble running this game especially on dot mode I mean from a performance perspective I've had literally zero issues at all whatsoever even the moments where I did zoom in and saw the actual fighting um and I turned off like simplified graphics and things like that just to see there wasn't like an instant massive spike in dropped frames or something like that like th there was there was no issues for me personally okay that's just my anecdotal experience if you're playing on an older phone or something like that perhaps you will notice an issue but I would say most people who are serious about actually fighting in like KVK, you're probably playing on dumb mode anyway. And I suspect that you will have a similar experience now as you always have before. But again, you can let me know in the comment section below. Now there is one negative thing that I definitely noticed multiple times and it was very annoying. And that is that flags themselves, when you are zoomed in like this and there's 50 armies around a flag it's very easy for that flag icon to be buried under the strategic view icons or even with when you hide your allies i know you can't really see it here but when you hide your allies down in this corner you can oh where there is yeah there is when you hide your allies it basically converts all your allies into like these tiny like blue balls i guess and they also have like the their uh, you could see their pathing also and those are also sort of blue balls or I guess orange balls if they're in a different coalition but either way the combination of the dots from the allies and the dots from their pathing on top of all your armies it's very easy to obscure a flag or player city and also and this I'm almost positive is true something has changed with the hitbox of the of the flag I misclicked flags more times in this zone than I probably have in the past four years playing Rise of Kingdoms. Truthfully, I think I only misclicked a flag like twice in this zone, but it's just something that I never do. I never misclick flags because why would you hit? Why? Why would I swarm a flag? I don't got. I ain't got the money for that, bro. Okay, let's just keep it a hundred. Especially not in a zone that doesn't matter that we were guaranteed to win anyway. Like that would. I would never swarm a flag. So I took like a couple thousand deads. It wasn't anything crazy. I, I mean, actually, let's take a look at my uh, Hall of Heroes here. I think mostly I have. All, yeah, I've just been putting archers into rallies, but I I filled a couple of the cab rallies. So I would say maybe, well, I definitely don't think, did I fill a garrison? I don't think I filled any garrisons or infantry rallies. So that means that these infantry were dead from, from misclicking a flag, right? So at least 11,600 troops died from misclicking a flag. Yeah. I definitely did put some T4 in, in some of the rallies as well. Also, by the way, I only run a single archer march. So all the archers on my account, pretty much that exceed the troop capacity are just fodder so I'm totally cool with throwing archers into the into basically into the fire okay I'm fine with disregarding my with just disposing of my archers because I don't really use them for open field fighting if I have zero archers on my account I can still run four armies which is fine for me uh but anyway the whole point is something has to be I don't I mean unless I'm just crazy but I have heard this from other people as well it's super easy to like hide that flag icon not even intentionally just in the heat of battle and because of that it's super easy to accidentally click on it especially you know obviously your your territories have to be touching but yeah it's just it's way too easy for it to happen so I think that again this is anecdotal experience but I just have I've just never I don't think I've misclicked a flag in a really long time maybe once in the past couple of years but to have it happen multiple times like within a couple of hours I was just like what is going on here like why why is this happening like this is super annoying all it does is cost meaningless troop deaths uh there was even in our discord call like we had people that randomly like they just sent their troops to walk near like basically where we were balled up and they accidentally would hit the flag right it's just it's really annoying I don't know what's happening with that I don't know if that is because they changed how the Crusader flags look in this new remastered game mode it could be the case that the flag like is more like top dense like there's more design on the top of the flag than like the middle of the flag like it's very skinny right here so maybe it's like easier to click on the top of the flag although I guess I can't really click on like this part of the flag right I have to click here so I don't really know I don't I can't explain it maybe the devs can look into it and see why 
that might be happening maybe i just am trash but like i've heard from other people that they've had this experience as well so i figured it would be worth talking about because that is a problem like if misclicking flags is a problem you can't do that in kvk like it's not a thing that should be happening especially for people like myself who've been playing for five years we know what to do we know not to swarm flags randomly like it's obviously it's happening by accident right and uh accidents i mean obviously i can take responsibility for a couple of accidents for sure but if it happens multiple times it's like at, at what point is it the design of the new flag is that that might be the problem maybe we look into that too right so it's at least worth pointing out here if the devs have not changed the flags at all and i'm just an idiot in this zone then like straight up i'm just trash it is what it is but but because other people have echoed the same concerns, I suspect that it is not just me. So hopefully uh, if there is something that they can do to optimize that, that would be great. But besides that, my experience in this KVK has been great. I haven't had any performance issues. Um, I haven't had any drop frames. I haven't had any lag. I haven't had anything beyond what you would already expect from KVK. And I mean, really, it's been great. It just the game just looks better, which is awesome. I love that. It is definitely much nicer to look at when you're playing for four hours straight, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I, there's really nothing I would like after this, after playing. Is there anything I would recommend changing? The only only other thing I guess that I could point out is that if you look at some of the holy sites um sometimes a rune will drop like right here uh which doesn't sound like a problem but you actually won't be able to see the rune unless you look at it from like a different angle and I don't know I can't really explain it without showing you but like you see how like you see how right now half of that barbarian is blocked right because it's like behind the tree well, you can have a rune drop like right here, which is like kind of, well, okay, maybe not right there, but like you could have a drop in like this little pocket right here. And then if you look from this angle, you literally won't even see that there's a rune there. Same thing with like right behind this tower, like there could be a rune like right here, but you won't see it from this angle, right? So like sometimes there could be runes that are there that you don't know are there. Like this mountain's kind of tall. I honestly, like it's kind of annoying to find the runes, but I mean, maybe I'm just being like overly optimistic here, but I also feel like that kind of adds a little bit of like a little bit of depth to it. Like you, you have to actually look for the rune as opposed to it just being obviously right there. I don't know. That's it, 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 overall, like it, it is kind of annoying. I, maybe they could just in, improve the glow of the rune so that way it's like way more obvious to see if it's behind something and then they don't have to go through and like actually remodel the whole mountain terrain and stuff like that. They could maybe just make the glow like, uh, more obvious or make the the glow of the rune like a pillar of light that goes up above it that way you know you could see it from basically all angles because it'll just be like a light pillar that comes up i don't know those are just some quick suggestions but yeah if they could maybe optimize how the runes look when they drop that would be better to see where they are when they are at all times and that is pretty much that guys i wanted to cover all this stuff today what do you think about the proposed change to the domain system let them know in the uh survey link in their discord they would probably really appreciate appreciate that do you think 500 is a good number should it be higher should it be lower let them know what do you think about them possibly changing some of the graphics in the remastered mode do you think that they need to tweak these slightly or do you think that they need to do a big change to the graphics I think they probably won't change much I could see them maybe like making the mountains a little bit less like the mountains look a little bit fluffy on the top right like they look like they got little like green pillows on top maybe they would do like minor adjustments to those types of things but who knows we'll have to wait and see maybe they'll tune down the saturation of the green grass anything could happen uh, let me know what you think about that and have you experienced the things that I have mentioned in this video with regards to KVK have you noticed any issues clicking on the strategic view icons have you had any issues misclicking on flags if you are in this remastered KVK I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below let me know what you think and with that being said guys uh while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdom players might see it also I just realized when you have the hide allies thing turned on this is what they look like by the way those little dots and so if you have like a hundred of those dots over top of a flag marker um it gets really hard to see the flag just so just so you guys know anyway double check to see if you are subscribed about 64 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so go ahead and click that button and click the bell if you want to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace